Hey everyone, this is Vicki at Messy's Table Studio. I am here with an experiment that I just watched on YouTube this morning. I've been awake for a few hours. <laughs> um, so let me start out saying this little notebook was started years ago when I was, <clears throat> excuse me, an active follower of the YouTube channel of uh, Cage Fish, Carla at Cage Fish. One of the things she talked about, it, what she really likes, is collecting magazine images. But it went a step further. She talked about saving interesting colors and textures from said magazines. So I started doing it. I started collecting colors that I liked with a few images. Yes, and I did put them in Roy G. Biv. <laughs> so a lot of these are magazine pieces that were kind of random. I just looked through magazines while I was cleaning out my pile and cut out stuff that I really enjoyed, the images, the, the colors that I really liked that spoke to me. I'm sorry about the glare, but this is the only light I've got. So anyway, I collected all of these magazine pieces and I was seriously considering chucking them because I just don't do this anymore. And then I stumbled onto something. I think, oh yeah, and there's other images in here that I really like. There's This thing is full of very cool images from magazines and that kind of stuff. So um, I was watching a video this morning and I thought, well, this looks interesting. I clicked on it and I was mesmerized. Do not ask me why. I don't know, but it just struck me as awesome. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you what I found on YouTube this morning, absolutely by accident. I don't know if it'll work on this paper or if you'll be able to see it, because I don't think I collected anything that was that dark. That's kind of a golden color. That looks okay. I don't think I have big pieces in here of the yellow. Wait, what's here on the bottom? Oh, yes. Outstanding. Okay, so I want to, it, the woman who demonstrated, I will put her link down below. Her name is Maria from Maria Creative Mind. So, let's see. I want to do these, and I, I picked this color specifically to go with a stamp that I found. This is such a simple thing, but I was just captivated by it. I don't know why... Some some things just strike me as funny. Other things are like, wow, that is awesome. Okay, so we need to find an emery board. I'm probably like 10 years behind everybody else on this concept, which is typical for me. All right, so she had one of these big, large acrylic emery boards, and you can buy these at Dollar Tree and Dollar Stores for next to nothing. She took a magazine piece. Hers were in a book, and the, uh, I think they were, well, the first one she did, yeah, it was in a book. Yeah, it was. Um, she took a magazine piece, and then she took a rubber stamp. Yes, hers were acrylic stamps. She put the acrylic stamp underneath the magazine piece, took an emery board, and rubbed now, I was skeptical. I mean, I, I'm not... Sometimes I know absolutely something will work. I don't know if my emery board is got enough grit, has enough grit on it to do this. Oh, it does. Look at that. I might have to rub a little harder because I've used this for many years now. and Well, I'll be. Look at that. It worked. So this is a kind of embossing without being messy, no powder, no heat gun, just a cheap tool, some magazine pages, and rubber stamps, and look at that. That is this. How cool is that? I absolutely love this. All right, so there's the hive. Let me do, I mean, that's the honeycomb. Let me do the bee. So let's try to be. Oh, I gotta find something that's appropriately sized from. So you put it with the stamp portion up because that's the part that's raised. Then you lay the magazine piece down on it and you just rub. Now, 
these are tend to be um, finer grit um, emery boards. I don't know if the let me see. I don't think that this kind is going to work. I think it might tear up your paper. This has a very fine grit on it because it's an acrylic for acrylic fingernails. I don't think you're going to get 100% detail off of your stamp, but it's close enough. You know exactly what the subject is. You need to hold it down so it doesn't squiggle everywhere. And you need to know how big that silly stamp is so you know how far to go out with the emery board. All right. Okay. Let me get the... And there you have it. There's the bee. I really like this. I think this is an awesome idea. There's one color and there's that. How cool is that? Oh, I really like this. This is such a simple idea. I mean, how can you how can you pass up on this? I mean, just oh, All right. Let's try the. Oh, let me get my stamps out of the way. Uh, let's try the hive. This is a B stamp set. So, if you're looking for something else, you're not going to get it because I'm doing a B theme today. This would be great to put on an embellishment in your junk journals. And everybody does junk, junk journals, have some kind of magazine or media paper, paper that's from media. Now you can do this on a page. The, the woman demonstrated, Maria demonstrated that she um, she did it on a, on a magazine with a picture of a woman and did, or a, a scene of some sort, it was black, and then she put the stamp underneath the black paper and she made white birds that are flying across the page. Wait till you see the video. You need to follow the link and show this nice woman some love. She only has, let's see, it says 1,000, 1,180 subscribers, so she's a relatively small channel like me. All right, so I had black on this, so you can see it's gotten a little black around the edges here. I must have gone too, a little too vigorous. But how cool is that? See, it's going, it's rubbing through, and the black from the stamp is coming through. So you need to be careful. I don't know. I don't think I can get that ink off of there, but I'm rubbing, you can rub too long, and it's rubbing through the paper. So you can't rub too long, and you need a better one of these. All right, so let's try this thing. Um, let me use a different stamp from the set. Okay, this one's a flower. Let's see how we do. I'm going to use the finer grit side of a regular emery board because I am a bit nervous of grinding through the paper like I did on the last one. I think you don't have to mash down too, too hard like I did on the beehive and I ripped the paper. I don't... I don't want to get carried away. Okay, so I flipped it over to the grittier side. And as long as I don't concentrate in one spot too long, maybe it'll be all right. But you need something with a lot of detail on it. And it's hard to see. Look at that. It did. It actually worked. So maybe you can use the finer grit side. Let me see. Let me find another emery board. This one has no gr This one doesn't. Well, this is got, it can feel grit on this side. All right, so let's try this one. Uh, okay, now I'm going to try some words. And the problem is with the words is you got to flip it upside down. So what you, what you do is going to be backwards. So words is a bad idea. All right, so let me try the bee again. I really like the bee. He's so cute. So we're going to put the bee down. Well, I'm going to do it on this one so we can compare. So here's the bee. And this side, this is a four-grit, four-way buffer is what it says. 
washable, disinfectable, really? I find that hard to believe. Okay. I don't know where I got this thing. I may have gotten it at Dollar Tree. I just don't remember. I've had it so long. Oh, son of a gun. It does work. Look at that. You just can't do it for very long. Because it will eat right through the paper. Because this paper is not very thick. A little, little more definition around the edge. And son of a gun, it worked. So if you're looking for a quick and easy thing to put into a journal where you don't have to get messy, all you have to do is have a couple varieties of different um, different grit, basically, sandpaper on a stick, <laughs> then this will work and, and it'll turn out really well. So that's it. I just wanted to come in and show you this technique and for you to go visit this woman's site, which is called Maria creative mind and she has 1180 um, followers please go show her some love and I will see you next time bye everybody all right so I never planned on uh, recording a part two but something occurred to me when I was putting my stamps away and putting the paper away is I want to see if it works on painty paper this is a jelly print This is my stamp. I want to do a blue moon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to see if it works. It should. We'll see. All right, so let's see. Maybe I should put him up here. No, nope, he won't fit on there. I'm going to put him down here. All right, let's see if this works. Now, I think this might be really bad on your emery board, so if you're planning on using it again, I suggest you don't. Or you buy a new one to use strictly for this kind of stuff if you enjoy it. Well, it's working. Not as well as I'd hoped. I think you might have to work a little harder on this than you would if you had thinner paper. It's going to get the outline, that's for sure. I don't think I'm going to get the detail I really want out of here. Let's see, it makes your emery board dirty because it's taking off the paint. Maybe this side's a little more gritty, I don't know. It might not be worth it to you to try this, but I thought I would do it and see what happens. So there's not much detail because the man's face, the moon's face has detail on it. But I don't think I'm going to get it off of here. So let's try this guy. He's got a little more grit. And I'm using the dark side, not the, the um, other side. I don't think this is going to work on this paper. Although it does a nice outline, but I don't think that I'm going to get what I want. It's not going to happen. Okay, so maybe this is not a good stamp. Either that or this is not going to work. All right, so let's see. Let me dig through. I have a bunch of little stamps right here next to me that have... Let's see if this has more on it. Oh, I need something with a little bit of detail. Uh, let's see. I've got a bunch of stamps that I bought eons ago from um, Hobby Lobby in the stamp section. You know, they have these little teeny stamps like this. I love these things. These things are awesome. Oh, let's see what else I got here. All right, let's try... Maybe try something like that where detail is good but it's a little more it's a little different than the face the face is really detailed let's try this one I'll put that on here let's see if I can get it to work now the jelly print has this was the roll I think it was a roll off paper 
what it was. So there may be more layers of, oh, look at that. There may be more layers of paint on here than what is usually on my jelly plates, my jellies. And I think you can tear through this paper as much as you could the yellow one that I did earlier. I think that's a, it's a huge possibility. I want to make sure I get some detail out of it. Okay. It's not as detailed as I was hoping for, but maybe that's not the point. Hope you can see this and it focuses eventually. And there's the moon. See, there's a difference between this one and this one. I think some stamps are better for this than others and it has made the ends of my you can't see it the ends of the emery board this way turn whoops sorry turn colors blue mostly <laughs> all right so that was a great experiment that was fun all right so oops wrong side so I'm gonna do one more experiment. Let me go get the paper. Okay, as you would probably guess, I'm gonna try this with vellum. I do love vellum. I think this will work, but it will not work the way I think it will. Um, you have to be very careful where you're rubbing on here because when you over rub, it's going to affect the surrounding area. Let's see. Oh, that works fast. The only problem is, is that I think maybe my vellum might be too thick. All right, so I'm gonna use the less gritty side of this. I think you really have to mash down on this vellum. I think this is one of the heavier vellums that I own. See, when it, well, it gives you sand off the, oh, see, it's gonna scratch it really bad. Okay, so vellum is kind of a bust with this. So there's that. And somebody has a... You can barely even see it. You put it under the blue. You can barely tell. It just like a, it looks like a giant scratch. So that's not a good fit. Maybe if you had one of those wood blocks that's made in India, the one that you can find at Michael's for usually pretty cheap. It's just a block of wood and it has a carving on it. Maybe something harder for the vellum would work instead of this. I think I've gotten rid of all my um, hard stamps like that. So I think you need something harder for this vellum. And this is a pretty thick vellum. So if you use something thinner, that's why they use the magazine pieces because it's a lot easier. And if you use the vellum, it's going to show the scratches everywhere that you went instead of the design. So there you go. Magazine paper jelly print, and vellum. Now go out and try your own experiments and tell me how, it ha how, you, how well it went. Thanks, everybody. Bye.